let's finish here our comprehension session reading comprehension session okay and here you have you can read it in five minutes and finish here these questions by scanning from here let's start to read this this passage together people today are always thinking about time there never seems to be enough time to do all the things we want to do believe it or not there was a time before time so important it was enough to know that the time the sun was out that mean it was daytime during these days when the clock seems to control us doesn't that sound nice time can mean a lot of things that's one way we know how important it is for us we have so many words about it the smallest amount of time we can measure is called the second when you put 60 seconds together you get a minute if you put 60 minutes together you get a uh, sorry an hour the hand of the clock go all the way around twice in 24 hours giving us one day if you want to look at the time beyond one day you leave the clock and look at a calendar instead there are about 30 days in one month some months have an extra day february has a couple less there are 12 months in one year in time here never stops okay I think that is so easy here today so here I have uh, I have uh, this question number one how are people thinking about these days so I'm gonna scan here and highlight the answer yes here people or thinking about Tom excellent good job so try to finish here yes so people are thinking about this time uh, sorry people are thinking about time these days okay how many hours are in one day of course they are 24 hours in one day okay how many seconds are in one day ah uh, yes you have here the day and in the day i have 24 hours and in the hours yes the one hour equals 60 minutes and 60 minutes yes i have here one minute equal uh 60 so 60 times 60 times 1 times 24 equals yes 86 thousands and four hundred seconds okay how many months are in one year they are 12 months okay uh, thank you for watching but don't forget here to context so if you uh, if it's the first time you read something that you read it quickly but don't use here the dictionary okay it's not good to use the dictionary for the first time there is something called huh excellent context context here meaning is that you can read the other words around the difficult word and you can find out what that it mean okay so try to use your mind okay Okay, uh, good luck and thank you.